Python, why does importing a package sometimes grant access to modules underneath it, but sometimes not? Python import mechanism is always a myth for me. Sometimes importing a package can grant access to the modules underneath it. For instance, gives, which shows functions are accessible even with only the package, i.e. erlib in this case, imported but not down to the module file. This is done within Jupyter Notebook. But when I do the same thing in terminal, Both Python versions are 3.6.1. What makes the difference and what is the good practice? Edit to combine the answers by at user 2357112 and at Tomoki. Directly from at user 2357112. For an access to erlib.parse to work, the following two conditions must be true the erlib module object must be bound to the erlib name whether in the local, global, or some enclosing scope. The erlib.parse submodule must have been initialized and bound to the parse attribute of the erlib module object. An import erlib in the current local or global scope, or any enclosing scope, satisfies the first condition. An import erlib.parse executed anywhere in the program satisfies the second condition, since it loads the submodule and binds it to the parse attribute on the erlib module object, and there's only one erlib module object for the whole program. In the environments where erlib.parse was accessible after a simple import erlib, some other code must have loaded erlib.parse, causing you to see it. The evidence is provided by Atomoki. The last line indeed touches erlib.parse. Another evidence. Import scipy does not provide access to scipy.stats.norm in either a terminal or Jupyter notebook because none of the environment touches scipy.stats at all. What is the good practice? We can conclude from above that it is not only a good practice, but in fact a requirement to hash hashtag import the whole module levels hash. Always import down to file, module, level to guarantee the access. Thanks all for the answers. For an access to erlib.parse to work, the following two conditions must be true. The erlib module object must be bound to the erlib name, whether in the local, global, or some enclosing scope. The erlib.parse submodule must have been initialized and bound to the parse attribute of the erlib module object. An import erlib in the current local or global scope, or any enclosing scope, satisfies the first condition. An import erlib.parse executed anywhere in the program satisfies the second condition, since it loads the submodule and binds it to the parse attribute on the erlib module object, and there's only one erlib module object for the whole program. In the environments where erlib.parse was accessible after a simple import erlib, some other code must have loaded erlib.parse causing you to see it. Like user 2357112 said it's getting imported. I believe these are the specific modules and statements.
Python 3 does not load the helper modules for Erlib automatically. This URL. Note the Erlib module has been split into parts and renamed in Python 3 to Erlib.request, Erlib.parse, and Erlib.error. The 2 to 3 tool will automatically adapt imports when converting your sources to Python 3. Note Erlib also exposes certain utility functions like split type, split this and others parsing URL into various components. But it is recommended to use OPARS for parsing OLS rather than using these functions directly. Python 3 does not expose these helper functions from Erlib.parse module. If you attempt to query the Erlib namespace dear Erlib after import, there are no submodules. After you type erlib.parse.unquote and get the error, the Erlib helper modules are loaded. I'm serious, that sounds crazy and wrong, all things not Python, he's a N-O-O-B, just try it, you can see them in the namespace through dear Erlib, and can query use them as if they were all loaded initially. You will then get the function object return. Python 3.5.2, default, August 18, 2017, 17 column 48 column, OOGCC, 5.4.020,160,609, on Linux. Type help, copyright, credits or license for more information. Import Erlib. Erlib.pars.unquote. Tracebat, most recent call last, column. File, stem, line 1, in module. Attribute era column module, Erlib has no attribute parse. Erlib.parse.unquote. Function unquote at 0 by 7 f 559 e 4768 c 8. In the 6 module, there are builtins.module builtins.object. There is additional documentation, of course, such as class module underscore 6 underscore moves underscore erlib builtins.module, create a 6 moves .erlib namespace that resembles the Python 3 namespace. I suspect that terminal does not invoke the built-in to load the helper modules automatically whereas Jupyter does though, I honestly don't know. Edit to add, importing Erlib, importing 6 and calling on it, even help 6, will load the parse, request, response, robot parser modules to the Erlib namespace. Additionally, importing Erlib and calling help on it will load parse, but not the other modules into the namespace. Jupyter may be loading help proactively causing it to load the parse module only. I don't have ipython slash conda slash Jupyter installed so can't help to test. If you want to see more, please consider subscribing.